Okay, well, here we are with Electro all together. As you can see, I've not only lit the eyes, but I've also added some rotating gears in the chest just to kind of fill that hole. It turned out pretty good. And what made that all possible was we had uh, two people who worked with getting the head together and they went two different ways on this. Basically, uh, D. Simon 68 used an AI program and inputted pictures of the actual head and uh, AI generated it and he did a little rework and I did more rework on the uh, neck plate so it would fit my build and add uh, some of the rivets that are shown the way it looks in the museum these days and I put a couple of LEDs down inside there so the eyes would light up like so and the other one right here this was uh, by Corey Collins <coughs> And I think he told me this in Tinkercad. And if we didn't have any other head, this would be a perfectly good one as well. Again, I hollowed it out so LEDs could be put in there. But you can see the main difference here is uh, it's it's boxier. It's kind of missing that. There we go. It's missing that secondary slope. See, if I had made the head, this is pretty much the way it would have ended up because I simply do not have the right program or the skills to have done that extra slope. You know the uh, AI version one, this one, it's not as smooth you know that was the only negative thing about it but in this small scale it it doesn't really show up as being that big of a problem where you know this one is very smooth and very exact very nice quality but it's missing some of the uh, details that I wanted. But we're going to have both heads available. When you have the STL files for this guy, I probably won't put the head file in with the whole body and everything. I will put links to Thingiverse where these two heads can be found. And then you can select either one you want, or both, or modify them. Do whatever you want to do with them at that point. Now as far as what I've uh, added in there, this is a uh, test rig that I, I'm actually doing some other tests for other things that you might be interested in. We're going to see how they turn out. I got some parts on them. They're not here yet. But uh, basically, instead of just having the standard cam like you see on this side, I took the standard cam and added a 19 tooth gear to it. And then a, a 9 tooth gear, which that meshes with, uses one of the screw holes that holds the TT motor in to hold this gear in. So as this gear turns, it turns that gear, and then uh, made another gear here for the front, which could have printed in any color. And that interfaces with this one, so when that turns, that turns, which just turns the little cosmetic one. All of that was just to get something happening in the hole in the body, some sort of cosmetic thing going on in there. I mean, it could have put a picture of the inside guts, or he could have, could have done a lot of things, but I decided on gears. I like gears. What I'm trying to do here is hook up the uh, battery pack to this so you can see how this works. So you can see these pins are the ones that make the, uh, the arms move. And of course the legs are moving. And uh, so that gear turns this gear and then that gear turns those gears. And that's how it goes. Now I decided to print this uh, motor frame piece in black to give it a better dark background so the gears would show up better. There is a difference um, on the frame now. I mean it looks symmetrical but this front part is thicker because I needed something for these screws to be able to go into if I'd made it thin like in the back. And the reason I didn't want to fatten up the one in the back is if you've got this slide switch in the back and that's where the uh, terminals of that switch go and I already have the terminals you know bent as sharp as I can so if I'd made that thicker then this wouldn't have slid up in there would have been a problem and I'm only telling you all this because if you decide to build one of these you just want to make sure whether you're doing the gearing or not 
to make sure that you put the thicker side of this towards the front so it doesn't interfere with the switch and all this crap up here in the extra wires that's eh, just for a little something that I'm I'm hoping I'll pan out but till the parts get here I'm not going to talk about that too much but it'd be pretty cool if it does it does work out so uh, I will up I'm, we'll work on uploading all of the files for the build STL files um, I don't know if I'll include the head with my files I right now I'm kind of thinking I'll leave the heads as a separate thing of verse files and just link them link to them and the reason for that is because they're a remix and I kind of want to keep everything that I did not as a remix whereas if I had the add add the head to it then I have to call the whole thing a remix so I'm thinking uh, from here on down I'll have my uh, link to the STO files on Thingiverse and then I'll have a link to uh, D. Simon 68's head that's AI generated and then I'll have a link to uh, Corey Collins's head which is uh, if I remember right I think he said Tinkercad but whatever CAD program he used he did a really good job I mean yes it's boxy yes it's missing one of the profiles but damn good job on that uh, better than I would have done although it's it's along the same way as I would have done it because I I just wouldn't have known how to work in that extra dimension with uh, design spark mechanical the program I use wouldn't been able to figure a way to to work that in but everything else is worked into it and there's room to tuck some LEDs up in there I went with the uh, warm uh, white LEDs non-flashing and of course uh, your white LEDs start working at just a hair under three volts so you really can't run them reliably with the motor on this system because you only have uh, two AAA batteries which is three volts so if the batteries drop at all then first thing that's going to happen is the eyes are going to go out so you're going to need to use a little uh, voltage boost circuit and I haven't got one laying here but you've seen them in my other projects but you can look up on AliExpress you can look up on um, well anywhere online you can look for them just look for a 5 volt uh, boost regulator or something sometimes they call them a buck boost and sometimes it's just a boost but anyway it'll take anything from uh, just under one volt like they normally call it a 0.9 of a volt up to five volts you don't want to exceed five and it'll output five so taking the three that I'm using to run the motor I boosted up to five then I used a current limiting resistor you know you have to do safety first for the LEDs you don't want to fry them but even more importantly if you run them too hot they're just too dang bright and normally I'll just stick something like a whatever laying around 330 470 ohm resistor or something like that just to protect the LEDs but that was still too bright and believe it or not this is crazy but what I ended up putting in there and in here is a 10k that's right 10 kilo ohms and from the 5 volts to get the uh, the look which isn't too bright I mean I don't know how it looks on camera but it looks really good in person now the one that I'm using to light up the chest in here which is the third one which mounts and just is aiming down I went ahead and just put a 470 ohm on it to current limit it because I wanted a lot more light to get in there and light all those gears up think I hit on all the topics all I can say is stay tuned there may be more follow-up to that depending on how my little tests go on this test rig over here but uh, till then have fun building